I finally have update 2023.44.30.5.1, which I am going to install right now. Here we go. We have the release notes for the latest update that I have is 2023.44.30.5.1 which is minor fixes. Of course, I didn't have any of the 44 update yet, so this is also new to me. On the 2023.44.30, we have these options. First one we have is Apple Podcasts. Listen to millions of the world's most popular podcasts. Apple Podcasts for Tesla syncs with your favorite Apple devices. So you can seamlessly follow shows, save episodes, and pick up right where you left off. Browse new and noteworthy podcasts or explore what's trending on top charts. From the application launcher, open the Apple Podcasts app, scan the QR code, and log in with your Apple ID. Premium connectivity required. So let's go and click on the app launcher. We now see Apple Podcasts showing. Now you can log into your Apple account if you have one, and you'll be able to see the podcasts. Going back into the release notes, we will press the second one, Tesla Arcade Updates. Beach Buggy Racing, unlock new vehicles and tracks. Your racing vehicle now matches the color you've set in the toy box colorizer. Polytopia Diplomacy Update, explore new options for peaceful and hostile interactions from peace treaties and embassies to stealth infiltration and guerrilla warfare. Next, we have Vampire Survivors Chilling Update, melt hordes of snowmen and defend against the ice monsters in the new wintry whiteout map along with the new character, achievements, and items to collect. PS4, PS5, and Xbox controllers feel more immersed in the action with rumble effects and select Tesla arcade games. To pair a controller, open the Bluetooth panel and follow the instructions. Availability varies by model and location. Automatic 911 calls. Your vehicle will call 911 if an accident triggers the airbags. A countdown timer allows you to cancel the call before it's placed if you don't need 911. This feature works automatically when your mobile phone is connected to your vehicle via Bluetooth. Go to safety to find the automatic 911 call toggle switch. Next, we have speed cameras on your route. Navigation now includes symbols along your route to show speed camera, stop signs, and traffic lights. To see this route information, you must have navigation, online routing turned on. Requires premium connectivity. Next, we have trip planner on mobile app. Use the Tesla mobile app to plan a trip. Go to location, Navigate and enter a destination. For multiple stops or make changes, simply edit trip, add stop. If needed, Trip Planner will also include charging stops along the way. Then choose send to the car and share it with your vehicle. This requires Tesla app 4.27.5 plus to add multiple stops to a trip. I'm going to show you an example of how to send the navigation directions directly from the phone to the car. Start with the Tesla app and then click on location. Then do navigate. You can either pick from recents or charging. I'm going to choose charging. I'm going to pick a location here. And then I can press navigate. And it shows the route on the phone itself. Then there's a button here that I can press send to car. And just like that, 500 feet, turn left onto Houston Street. 
And just like that, it shows up on the car's navigation. Next, we have alternative routes while driving. See alternative routes in navigation and switch routes even after you've started driving. While driving, choose the map mode button at the top right or tap the next turn to switch to the navigation overview and choose which route you want. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example of the navigation change. So let's pick a location. In 500 feet, turn left onto Houston Street. And then notice it chooses a route for you or you can choose your own. But if you wait too long, it chooses one for you. So what we want to do, let's uh, wait till it finishes calculating. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's press edit trip. And now we see the routes again. So let's pick a different route. In 500 feet, turn left onto Houston Street. So if you want to pick a different route, click on the label. And you can switch among the three choices. Once you pick the path that you'd like to take, just let it go or press done. So for example, I am going to use this route and then pick done. And if you ever need to make any more changes, just edit the trip. Next, we have light show. Time to celebrate with the latest light show to the tune of The Arrival by Irving Victoria. Play it right away or schedule the show up to 10 minutes in advance with one vehicle or synced with friends. Go to Toy Box Light Show. Light show enthusiasts can now play multiple custom light shows from the same USB flash drives. Simply save the show files to a directory named Light Show on your flash drive. Connect and choose. And that's it for the major things. We have some minor updates here. Shuffle your title playlists and albums. Also, in Apple Music and Spotify, you can show your account profile image to indicate which account you're using for each. Availability varies by model and location. When you use Control Search on the touchscreen, your results now include links to entries in the owner's manual in addition to results with vehicle settings. So you can find the setting you want or learn more about it. When you search the vehicle map for charging locations, you can now filter between two charging speeds, three lightning bolts, shows locations with more than 70 kilowatts, one lightning bolt shows locations with 70 kilowatts or less. And that's it for the listed items on the release notes. My release notes don't show it, but there are supposed to be some more changes. I have a 2018 Model 3 with the original hardware computer 2.5. There are quite a few other things in this update that don't apply to my car since it's old. Since I can't demonstrate them in my car, I will show you screenshots of the changes. Most importantly, the sensationalized recall for autopilot is addressed in this update. I'm not sure why it's not showing up on my car. Over the air update recall. In accordance with a recent recall, campaign number 23V-838 for the US and 2023-657 for Canada, Tesla is making the following improvements to auto steer improved visibility of driver monitoring warning alerts on the touchscreen by increasing the text size and moving the notifications to a more prominent position, Model 3 and Y only. Added option to activate autopilot features with a single stock depression instead of two to help simplify activation and disengagement. Increase the strictness of driver attentiveness requirements when using auto steer and approaching traffic lights and stop signs off highway. 
introduced a suspension policy that will restrict auto steer usage for one week if improper usage is detected. Improper usage is when you or another driver of the vehicle receives five forced autopilot disengagements. You are the driver. As the driver, you must be vigilant to the road, keep your hands on the wheel, and ready to intervene to maintain safety. At my autopilot options, there is nothing to change it to one button for activation. Autopilot suspension. For maximum safety and accountability, use of autopilot features will be suspended if improper usage is detected. Improper usage is when you or another driver of the car receives five forced autopilot disengagements. A disengagement is when the autopilot system disengages for the remainder of a trip after the driver receives several audio and visual warnings for inattentiveness. Driver-initiated disengagements do not count as improper usage and are expected from the driver. Keep your hands on the wheel and remain attentive at all times. Use of any handheld devices while using autopilot is not allowed. Autopilot features can only be removed per this suspension method and they will be unavailable for approximately one week. Cabin Camera the cabin camera above your rearview mirror can now determine driver inattentiveness and provide you with audible alerts to remind you to keep your eyes on the road when autopilot is engaged. Camera images do not leave the vehicle itself, which means the system cannot save or transmit information unless you enable data sharing. To change your data settings, tap Controls, Software, Data Sharing on your car's touchscreen. In my car, I have my cabin camera covered and it's never been used. Custom lock sounds. This requires the pedestrian warning system to be enabled on your vehicle. Mine does not have that. Replace the horn lock sound of your vehicle with another sound like a screaming goat. You can also change these in the system by using flash drives or SSD cards where you save music and sentry cam videos. Park Assist Update Tesla Vision Park Assist now displays a high fidelity 3D representation of the world around your vehicle, including the proximity and shape of nearby objects, barriers, vehicles, and painted road markings. You can use Park Assist with or without audible feedback. To turn chimes on or off, go to Controls, Safety, Park Assist Chimes. Note that Park Assist is for guidance purposes only and is not a substitute for an alert driver. Remain attentive and avoid obstacles as required. Castle Doombad MCU3 is required. Castle Doombad is now available in the Tesla Arcade. You're the villain, it's up to you to destroy the goody-two-shoed heroes invading your castle. Defend your evil lair solo or in two-player co-op with terrible traps, monstrous minions, and wicked weapons. This trap-based puzzler game is like a cartoony tower defense meets dungeon keeping. To play, shift to park, and go to arcade, Castle Doombad. Play games on the rear screen of the new S, new 3, and new X. Play games from the back seat. To start a game on the rear touchscreen, open the arcade app. You can also join a game that started on the front touchscreen. Extend the experience with some games with a paired Bluetooth controller. Rear passenger headphones on the new S, the new 3, and the new X. Passengers in the back seat can listen on wireless Bluetooth headphones when watching the theater app on the rear touchscreen. The rest of the vehicle can continue to listen to other audio from the front. Pair your headphones at App Launcher, Rear Display, Settings, Add New Headphones. To listen, turn on the headphones up to two. Open a theater app on the rear screen and hit play. More cameras in live camera view. When you view your vehicle surroundings from the Tesla app, now you'll have access to the left and right pillar cameras. On your vehicle touchscreen, go to Controls, Safety, 
view live camera via mobile app. Then you can view from the app on your phone. Live camera is end-to-end -end encrypted and can't be accessed by Tesla. This requires Tesla app 4.27.5 plus and premium connectivity. When you want to see the live camera, press the button and then let's see it activate. Now we see the front view, the side views, and the rear view. I don't have any more than that. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's also a limitation of the not having the MCU3 computer. And lastly, we have automatic blind spot camera. The blind spot camera view now alerts you with red shading along the edge when your turn signal is on and your vehicle detects an object or another vehicle in your blind spot. Go to Controls, Autopilot, Automatic Blind Spot Camera. I hope this video has helped you understand the features of this new update. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please like and subscribe. It helps people find my channel, which has recently expanded to cover both my Tesla Model 3 and my Fisker Ocean 1. I am working on lots of new content, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.